So before we go into the process of transcription, let us understand the main enzyme that is associated with transcription and that enzyme here is RNA polymerase. The enzyme is called RNA polymerase. Now this RNA polymerase is also called as DNA dependent, DNA dependent RNA polymerase. So that means it's a polymerization enzyme that adds nucleo right, nucleotides. What type of nucleotides? It is known to add ribonucleotides. It adds ribonucleotides to a growing strand to a growing strand and when ribonucleotides are added to a growing strand it becomes RNA and for that it is using DNA as the template okay now this RNA polymerases they are different in prokaryotes and they are different in eukaryotes okay in prokaryotes it's a complex of multimeric proteins and this one is actually in a holoenzyme form in prokaryotes it's in the form of a holoenzyme it is a holoenzyme in the case of prokaryotes now what is a holoenzyme holoenzyme means it consists of a core enzyme which is fixed and it consists of a prosthetic group okay now in RNA polymerase the core enzymes are made up of the alpha and beta subunits they are made up of the alpha and beta subunits forming what is called as a tetrameric core it forms a tetrameric core means something like this you have two alphas alpha 1 alpha 2 then you will have two betas beta and beta prime or beta 1 beta 2 so this is the tetrameric uh, uh, core which forms the core enzyme this is the core enzyme but this is not the complete enzyme to this enzyme but it is not complete without the prosthetic group and what is the prosthetic group here the prosthetic group is called as a sigma factor so when the prosthetic group the sigma factor attaches to it then you have the combined structure of the RNA polymerase the RNA polymerase holoenzyme holoenzyme okay so this rna polymerase enzyme in prokaryotes it is recognized it recognizes the minus 35 gc box at the minus 35 base pairs and it binds to there and that recognition is done by the core sigma factor so it recognizes the minus 35 base pair sequence and it binds the RNA polymerase to it forming an image like this. So if you say that this thread like structure is actually the DNA template then here this is how the RNA polymerase is bound to. There is this extra subunit which is the uh, the the omega 1 now this helps in the unwinding of the dna template unwinding of the dna and this is how it will bind to where it will bind to at the minus 35 base pairs gc box then after the unwinding the sigma factor always remember after the work after the binding work is over the sigma factor disassociates it disassociates from the core enzyme from the core so the rest of the entire transcription is carried out by this core enzyme only this core and the sigma factor it gets removed later okay so this is in the case of prokaryotes now in the case of eukaryotes so in the case of eukaryotes you will require 
मल्टीपल आर एन ए पॉलीमरेजेस यू रिक्वायर मल्टीपल आर एन ए पॉलीमरेजेस सो दीज मल्टीपल आर एन ए पॉलीमरेजेस आर यूज बिकॉज दे नॉट ओनली कंट्रोल बिकॉज एज एफ सेड रिमेम्बर द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इन यू कैर इट इज लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड okay so you have a lot of sequences to uh, lot of sequences where there should be a control of transcription regulation of transcription than the actual transcription process so it's a very complex process so to do all of this multiple complexities you will need multiple rna polymerases what are they in short they are called as rna polymerase 1 RNA polymerase two and RNA polymerase three. So three types. Okay. Now RNA polymerase one. It is basically located in the nucleoli. It is present in the nucleoli. Okay. And what is it is it is associated with the synthesis of rrnas so if your gene if you want to transcribe an rrna gene remember i have told you you have three types of genes right you have rrna gene trna gene and the protein coding gene if your transcription is for an rrna gene and you want to produce rrna you are going to use rna polymerase 1 In fact, it produces three types of rRNAs, which is 28S type. It will also produce the 18S, and it will produce the 5.8S rRNA. Okay. Now coming to RNA polymerase two. RNA polymerase two is present in the nucleoplasm. That means it is present in the nucleolus, and it is used in the production of pre mrnas that means this is the one that is associated with the transcription of protein coding genes if you want to create protein coding genes you require rna polymerase 2 and it also produces another set of rnas called as small heteronuclear rna the third one is the rna polymerase 3 now rna polymerase 3 is also present in the nucleoplasm and this one is mostly associated with trnas 5s rrna and remember sn rna remember this word because this is going to come in the process of pons transcriptional modification sn means small nuclear rna which will help in the carrying out of a process called as splicing okay so A tRNAs, 5s rRNA, sn rRNA. If these genes want to be transcribed, you will go to RNA polymerase 3. Okay, so this is the polymerases of eukaryotes and prokaryotes. In the next video, we are going to talk about the process of transcription.